Since 91, when I left school, I started to work actually for another SCAD student at a music magazine here in Burbank. That actually got me into the music business. Got a full-time job at MCA Records as a graphic designer. Did a couple years there, then went to Hollywood Records. So it was about eight years I was in the record industry and then started Meat and Potatoes. Around 2000, MP3s were coming up and the whole Napster craze and I could hear all the rumblings of things are gonna change, you know, we're not gonna have record covers anymore. And I thought, well, that's what I do. So I ought to try and find something else to do. And I really wanted to explore. I went out and grabbed a studio and shared it with three other people. Two of us said, let's form a company because we'll get bigger work. And that's how Meat and Potatoes came to be. The name came over a hearty lunch and it was sitting there on the menu. We said, oh, Meat and Potatoes. The basis of all design. If you communicate your message swiftly and boldly, that's the Meat and Potatoes way. That's sort of my mantra. I feel that that's good design. Clients from MCA Records looked me up. Sammy Hagar, Tommy Lee, Semisonic, they all did their second and third records that were on that label with me, and those were successful. And those artists stuck with me, and to this day I still do work for all of them. Getting into casino and property uh, hospitality work with Hard Rock Hotel and Casino was a result of my relationship with Sammy Hagar. So this is the first time the Hard Rock Las Vegas was looking for an agency, and we got the job, and since August we've been their agency of record, overseeing all creative, rebranding, new website, new ad campaigns. It's been a lot of fun. We've taken on work for the Sky Proper Branding. We've taken on new corporate work for Campari as they're moving to Campari America. When it comes time for new products, it's us and a team of researchers that they put together in a think tank. Far above what I ever thought I would do as far as graphic design goes, it feels really good that a company of that stature can look at us and say, wow, we, we really love the work that you do. Chicken Foot, it's a new super group. They loved what I did on the first album. They just gave me free reign to do something on the second album. The album was called Three. I want to go back to old school photography of 3D with the red and blue glasses. I had called up my friend and former SCAD alum, John Hill, and we put together a shoot with the band up in the studio in San Francisco. And those images turned out wonderfully. They're all in the package and nominated for a Grammy. The manager had sent me an email that said, you were nominated for packaging. I shut the laptop really quick. I couldn't believe I just read that. Quite the wonderful feeling. I'm hopeful, but you know what? Like everybody says, it's just good enough to be nominated. <laughs>